Welcome to the digital version of Temple College's information session of Surgical Technology, a division of Health Sciences. My name is Alicia Buck and I am the Program Director and Department Chair. The Surgical Technology Program operates under the standards of the Accreditation Review Committee on Education and Surgical Technology and Surgical Assisting. We are accredited by the Commission on Accreditation of Allied Health Education Programs. Our graduates are eligible to sit for the National Certification Examination through the National Board of Surgical Technology and Surgical Assisting to become a Certified Surgical Technologist, which is required in the state of Texas to practice surgical technology. We are also affiliated with our professional association, the Association of Surgical Technologists, which was established in 1969 by members of the American College of Surgeons, the American Hospital Association, and the Association of Perioperative Registered Nurses. The first class at Temple College of Surgical Technology students was enrolled in 1982 in cooperation with area hospitals. Previously, surgical technologists had been OJT'd or on-the-job trained. The facilities found that there was a need for further education deeper than the skill sets taught at the hospital. The mission of Temple College is to meet the needs through education of the individual learner, area communities, and area businesses. The mission of the surgical technology program is to meet the needs of the surgical patients and surgical teams. Surgical technologists are allied healthcare professionals and an integral part of the surgical team. They assist in providing surgical care to patients and work under the supervision and delegatory authority of a surgeon. They ensure that the operating room environment is safe, that equipment functions properly, and that the operative procedure is conducted under conditions that maximize patient safety. Surgical technologists are experts in the theory and application of the principles of asepsis and sterile technique, knowledgeable of human anatomy and physiology, of surgical procedures, and instruments and technologies to facilitate invasive, therapeutic, and diagnostic procedures. Surgical technologists must abide by a strict code of ethics to maintain the highest standards of professional conduct and patient care to hold in confidence with respect to the patient's beliefs and all personal matters, to respect and protect the patient's legal and moral rights to quality patient care, to not knowingly cause injury or any injustice to those entrusted to your care, to work with fellow technologists and other professional health groups to promote harmony and unity for better patient care. To always follow the principles of asepsis, to maintain a high degree of efficiency through continuing education, to maintain and practice surgical technology willingly, with pride and dignity, to report any unethical conduct or practice to the proper authority, and to always adhere to the code of ethics at all times in relationships to all members of the healthcare team. There is a list of essential functions, qualifications, and technical standards an individual must meet to successfully be a surgical technologist. Those include, but are not limited to, having cognitive and critical thinking abilities, having interpersonal abilities, communication abilities, physical mobility, strength and endurance, fine motor skills and hand and eye coordination, auditory, visual, and tactile abilities in the sense of smell. As with all careers in healthcare, there are occupational and safety hazards that you should be aware of. One of those is latex allergies, and it can be acquired through repeated exposure. We do, however, have many options of latex-free gloves, bouffants, and other supplies available in the OR. Ionizing radiation through the use of x-ray and fluoroscopy that is becoming more and more common in surgical procedures. There are lead vests and thyroid collars available that should and will be worn to any and all procedures using radiation. Musculoskeletal issues, long hours of standing, lifting, and transporting patients. The use of proper body mechanics is extremely important. 
physiological issues. Breaks are not at will. So thinking about how and when you eat and drink is very important. Mental demands. Surgeons can be difficult. And then sometimes not all of your patients make it through. Bloodborne pathogens, HIV, AIDS, hepatitis C, and other bacterium such as MRSA are in the operating room. This is why it's very important to use proper sterile technique and always wear your PPE, personal protective equipment. According to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, surgical technologists average an hourly rate of 2274 in 2018, and all education was post-secondary. The career continues to grow and actually there's currently a national so uh, shortage of surgical technologists. Surgical technologists work in hospitals. Mostly the main operating room is the classic place for them to work, but many also might work in sterile supply and instrument processing. They can also work in clinics such as outpatient day surgeries, and with two years or more experience, they can become travel techs with contract jobs at ORs that need help. Many may go on to do medical sales with a bachelor's degree for surgical devices and supplies. And though it's not really a career, there is opportunity to give back on medical missions such as Operation Giving Back. Temple College Program of Surgical Technology is an Associates of Applied Science degree. We do require 24 credits of prerequisite courses, including Composition 1, General Psychology, Medical Terminology, Intro to Speech or Interpersonal Communications, Anatomy and Physiology 1, Anatomy and Physiology 2, and Microbiology for Health Sciences. Once in the program the first semester, you can carry over one three-hour credits of either art appreciation or humanities. Please note, all biology courses must be no older than five years old, and this is due to the fact that they are directly related to what we do in the operating room. As with most health science programs, we are a closed program, meaning that you must apply for consideration. We accept up to 18 students per cohort or per year. The application process includes a test of the ATITs with a 60% composite score, meaning the average of all sections. You may take that twice in a cycle. Then you must fill out an application and have those test scores and all of your transcripts available. The deadline for the test and the transcripts and the application for this upcoming cohort is February 25th, 2021. From those applications, we will choose approximately 24 students to interview. Interview will be as a typical job interview where we're evaluating you for desire and readiness for the career. Since we are very technical and hands-on, we also conduct a hand and eye coordination test. If offered a seat, it is conditional, pending a background check, a drug screen, history and physical, immunizations, and CPR through the American Heart Association. Once accepted into the program, we begin every summer. The course for summer is SRGT 1509, Fundamentals of Surgical Technology. Lecture and lab will be conducted Monday through Thursday, eight to noon, with afternoon lab time practice available and highly encouraged. You must, at the end of this course, pass the written multiple choice final with a 70% or greater. And then you must pass the lab practicum with an 80% or greater. This uh, policy is in place to protect the surgical patient because the next step in the program is to actually go to clinicals. Also during the summer, you can, if you still need to, take that three hour co-rec of humanities or arts. Once passing summer, we move into our second semester, which is fall. On Mondays, SRGT 1541, Surgical Procedures 1, which begins with general surgery, moves on to urology, GYN, and orthopedics. On Thursdays, SRGT 1405, Introduction to Surgical Technology, 
These are Thursdays, 8 to noon, and this course covers advanced pharmacology, ethics, legal, and all hazards. On Tuesdays and Wednesdays, SRGT 1560, Introductory Clinical. Clinicals rotations are between Baylor Scott and White Memorial, the Central Texas VA, and Baylor Scott and White Pavilion Day Surgery with the option of McLean's Children's Hospital. Clinicals are conducted from approximately 6.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Arrival and departure times may vary but depending on the facility. Spring semester, which is the third and final semester in the program, includes on Mondays, SRGT 1542, Surgical Procedures 2, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. This goes into plastic surgery, ENT, oral maxillofacial, cardiothoracic, cardiovascular, and neuro. There is an online professional readiness course, SRGT 2130, that's actually more of a hybrid. We'll have some specific meeting days, but this is the first eight weeks of the spring semester. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are clinicals, SRGT 1461 for the first eight weeks, intermediate clinicals, from 6.30 in the morning to 2.30 in the afternoon. And the second eight weeks is SRGT 1462, advanced clinicals, which is also Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 6.30 to 2.30. Once again, please keep in mind, arrival and departure time may vary depending on the facility. At the conclusion of spring semester, which is the third and final semester in the program, we will schedule you for your national certification exam, which is proctored on campus. And then we always have a pinning ceremony and graduation celebration. The students are also involved in the Association of Student Surgical Technologists on Temple College campus and in the community. They're involved in many campus events and civic events throughout the community, such as Operation Giving Back, and fall festival. The following is a policy and expectations of those in the surgical technology program. Attendance, please be on time. It's very, very important. There's a lot of material that you not only need to know, but you must know to not just pass the program, but to be an excellent patient care provider. We allow three absences per semester. Professionalism, being courteous and being a team player is very, very important. Accountability, accepting criticism, accepting feedback, face faults, we all make mistakes. If you don't make a mistake, you can't learn. Dedication, study hard and train hard. We also require that all grades be a C or better in every course required in the surgical technology program. Clean uniform and badge must be worn at all times. Unless you're in the operating room, then you'll be wearing the OR issued scrubs. But our uniform is the Caribbean blue scrubs with nurse shoes, and they can be any type of comfortable tennis shoe, just nothing flashy. You'll need the lab coat as part of your uniform when you travel to and from clinical sites. And always have your TC badge with you and your hospital badges in all places. Clean fingernails, absolutely no artificial nails, no polish, and they must be short and clean at all times. No jewelry, wedding rings, necklaces, absolutely no jewelry. In lecture, that's fine, but once we're in the lab in a clinical place, absolutely no jewelry. Your wedding rings will tear your gloves, necklaces fall off, earrings fall out, it is actually against AORN policy and AST policy to wear jewelry when you're scrubbing. No fresh tattoos. We do not have a tattoo policy per se. Um, and most hospitals, they do, but because you're in a closed environment, the OR is a little bit um, immune to that policy. We just, uh, no fresh tattoos during the program. So if you have a, a fresh tattoo, that is an open wound, which is a source of infection to you and your patient. Natural hair. It does not have to be your natural hair color, but a natural hair color. We want you to look professional and neat at all times. 
and the eyelashes, which I know are currently extremely popular. No artificial eyelashes. They have been known to fall off and fall into patient wounds. The following is the estimated cost for our program at Temple College. Those of you in district or living in the city of Temple, it is $6,214. Those living out of district in such communities such as Rogers, Academy, Troy, Belton, Colleen, so forth, that estimated cost is $8,621. And anyone who has an out-of-state residency would be $11,261. And these are estimated costs that do include um, an estimation for textbooks and uniforms too. They do not include academic courses or travel to clinical, private health insurance, other things like that. If you have any questions, please, please email uh, rosemarylaws at rosemary.laws at templejc.u or you can email me, Alicia Buck, at alicia.buck at templejc.edu. Thank you for watching this presentation, and we look forward to seeing all of your applications come through.